Hey guys, this is Todd with the Wine Club Group. You can find us online at wineclubgroup.com or find our reviews and ratings of a bunch of different wine clubs at wineclubreviewsandratings.com. Joining me here is Trisha, also with the Wine Club Group. Hey, Trisha. Hello, Todd. Let's talk about California wine today, shall we? Absolutely. Um, I'm excited today to be talking about the California Wine Club because it's one that is brand new to me and I have been to California before and done some winery tours. So obviously everyone knows that they're renowned for their wine, the, the state in our country that's most known for wine. So it's exciting to see a club that focuses primarily on locally grown California wines. Well, with a name like California Wine Club, I guess you can pretty much assume you're getting exactly that California wine. And what I do like about this company and this club is it's it has like a, a small feel to it and yet very professional at the same time it's like they have like the perfect balance of community and friendliness it feels like actually we have um like friends in California. It, it does. I feel like I know the owners. <laughs> yeah. I haven't met them, but I feel kind of personally connected just from seeing things on their website and reading about them. Yeah, what's neat about them also is that they've been doing this what for 23 years. Yeah. And and so here's a couple of quick differentiators that I've noticed about the California Wine Club over others. Um, one is that they sell or they package up wineries that are that you can go to in California and you can buy their wine. It's in California. From the winery directly and they don't do any uh, relabeling of any sort and and none of that you know that the businessy stuff that kind of really makes it more difficult to find the wine online elsewhere and compare you know right. exactly what you're getting with these guys and that's really uncommon as i understand it when it comes to wine clubs and using winery direct wines a lot of times with wine clubs what you're getting is leftover inventory um it's not so much that the wine club is going out, finding a winery and saying, we want to work with you. We want to taste your wines. We like them. We want to sell them. Instead, what it is, is um, the wine club going out to wineries and saying, if you have any remnant inventory, we can help you get rid of it by putting it into our wine club. Right. So um, this is very different than what most wine clubs are. Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll go to all these different uh, wineries in California and they handpick you know, the, the different wines that they like. And they go through and, and choose wines for each of their different levels of wine clubs. Maybe oh, we should kind of start with that, the different types of wine clubs that they offer. Yeah, we thought we love our jobs, but I, I think I'd actually really want their jobs. <laughs> um, they have four different clubs right now. Um, the one that we're going to talk about today is actually the premier series, and that is California Wine Club's Reasonable Prices, sells for about $39 a month, um, give or take, and um, that's going to be probably the, the most popular club that most people are going to give as gifts that most people are going to buy for themselves. Then they have a step up from that, which is their signature series, and that can range from like $150 to $275 a month. You're still getting all California wines, but those are real kind of um, collector level connoisseur wines. Um, I'm going to skip one, go to the fourth club that they have, and that's the Aged Cabernet series. That obviously is for people who know they want only Cabernets that are really willing to pay for top of the line, $150, $230 um, a month for two bottles. So that's really high end. Now to come back to the third club, it's interesting because it's called the International Selections. What? It's the California Wine Club. Why are, is it International Selections? Right. And um, I read up on that because I was confused. <laughs> and it turns out that this club, it's just a little bit um, more expensive than the Premier Series, but it runs like $65, $80 a month. What they decided to do was take the exact same approach that they've been using in California, which is visiting all of these little wineries um, throughout California, go outside of California, outside of the United States, and do the exact same thing. So they're visiting these smaller um kind of small operation vineyards and wineries all around the world now and using this same experience of go there, actually meet the people that own the vineyards, meet the people that are making the wine, taste their full selection, um, and then be able to tell us all about the other countries that these wines come from, be able to tell us about these wineries, about the region. So um, it's really cool. If you're not focused solely on the California Wine Club or if you try the California Wine Club and you like their approach so much, but you want something different, then you can check out that international selection as well. Right. So their prices are reasonable. It's pretty much what you'd expect um, for a high-end, good quality wine club. And right. so let's talk about some of their um, their shipping options, like how frequently it's, it's once a month, you get two bottles or, no, it's always two bottles, right? Always two bottles, yes. And okay. you can get either a red and a white as their standard, or you can get two red or two white, and they're going to be um, the same 
type of wine. They're going to be the exact same bottles. You can get them every month, every other month, or once a quarter. So, you know, I can go through two bottles in a month easily. <laughs> not everybody can. <laughs> so if you like the idea of having a wine club, but you're not sure that you want that commitment of two bottles every single month, start with every other month. If you want to send it as a gift and you want somebody to get something throughout an entire year, but you don't want a really pricey gift, do that, you know, $39 a month times four so that every quarter they get um, two bottles. So they're not getting too much wine, but every three months they're getting a reminder of that gift that you sent them. Yeah, I love that idea. That's a great idea to extend the gift by yeah. delaying it once every other month or every three months. Awesome mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, and of course when you when you buy it as a gift, you're prepaying for your selection right then. And But right. if you're buying it for yourself, you pay as you go. Right. right. All right, cool. Well, let's take a look at our wines, shall we? Yeah. All so right. I want to show you what we got in the box. Um, first of all, Todd and I, we got the same selection, but we got it at different times. So what we got in our boxes is a little bit different. But essentially, this is how it came. And this is packaged a little bit different than any of the other wine clubs I've seen. Um, it's just, it's perfectly made for the wine bottles so that they can't get, you know, bumped around during shipping. You don't have to worry about anything breaking. So you have this kind of styrofoam and each one just pops out the top. Yeah, and actually on that note, you know, when it comes to styrofoam, I know some people are very, you know, eco-conscious and very eco-friendly, and that's a very big deal to them. So that's the one thing I noticed that, you know, it did stand out as something that somebody may want to point out. Hey, that's styrofoam, not cardboard. All right, so that's it. But otherwise, everything <laughs> yeah. else is amazing here. And here's a kind of exactly how mine looks like. It's still in the box, so still in the box. Well, I already pulled all my stuff out of the box, so I just wanted to quickly go through a few of the things that are in here. Um, first of all, if you are giving this as a gift, we'll put um, a, a close-up of this on the website as well. This is where you're actually going to have, there's like a little gift tag on there, and that's where you're going to be able to have the note that you want to be enclosed so that they know who it came from and what your sentiment is. Also on this, this is kind of an invoice and a packing slip, but you will not find prices on it. So if you're sending this as a gift, it will have your note on it. It will have all the order information, um, if they have a problem with it, customer service information, what should be in the box and all that. But there is not a price on this, so you don't have to worry about that especially if you use one of the deals that we talk about later. Um, one of the other things that we got is the scorecard. They actually want to know what you think about these wines. And when you fill out this scorecard for them, you actually get a discount on the wine that you want to reorder with them. So that's pretty cool. Um, a little special newsletter that just comes from um, Bruce and Pam Boring, who are the owners of the California Wine Club. And I haven't talked to them personally, but my mom has, and she filled me in on just how awesome they were. Um, You're so, so well connected. <laughs> <laughs> so just this is just basic information that you know gives customer service information. So if you do have a problem with a bottle or your box, or you want to cancel, or you want to order more, or whatever, all that information is right there. You don't have to try to hunt down how to get a hold of them. Then this is the special of the month. And what Todd and I figured out is that we actually each have different um, specials because we got our shipments at different times. So his is more about you had what a 10, 10 wines under $10 sale, you said? Yeah, or so this like is that. like, this is basically it's a brochure about their clearance items. And out of all these different wines, 10 of them are under $10. You know, there's. That's amazing. Plenty. I mean, that's good price. That's yeah. like. Yeah, there's plenty. So, like, there's this one's Cabernets and Pinots. This column is Merlots and Syrahs and interesting reds, and then best values. And the best values, these are uh, all under eight dollars or seven or eight dollars. And then there's another two here for eight dollars. Then you know you have your normal prices: sixteen dollars, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, nine ninety-nine, forty-three dollars, thirty-five. So they're kind of all over the board. But this is their kind of like their clearance, and you can always find. It. Options. And when I went to the website, I found that they had um, a lot of those deals on there as well. So if you end up not getting that brochure, they also have a lot of deals on the website that they change every month. Um, and this is their upcoming deal. If you're thinking about sending these as holiday gifts, which I would highly recommend, if you order early, then you'll be able to get some special deals from that as well. And you don't, they actually don't bill you or ship it until December. So don't worry about that like last minute ah, holiday shopping. Just make your list. Go in. Fill everything out now, and then in December, they'll bill you for it. They'll ship it all out, and you'll look like like a genius that you had it all done in advance. I like looking like a genius because <laughs> it happens <laughs> so often. That's the only way that I ever will. So. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the newsletter. Um, because this 
fabulous. This is, of all the wine clubs that we have reviewed, and we have reviewed a lot of wine clubs, this is the best newsletter I've ever seen. I love getting the newsletters with the wine clubs. In fact, that's part of the reason that I get wine clubs is that I like getting the newsletters. I like to be able to read about the wines that I'm getting. I like to be able to learn more about you know, the vineyards that they come from and all that. This is the most comprehensive of any that I've ever seen. It's not just one page. It's not two pages. It's like, I don't know, 10 pages, something like that. Um, and for wine lovers, it's fun. It's not just about the wine that you're getting which it is, um, you know, in the front, it will tell you the wines that we're going to talk about in just a couple of minutes. It tells you specifically the wines that you're getting, what you want to pair with them, all that basic information. Then it will start talking about the vineyard. It told this whole great story um, about Oriana. It talked about, you know, the owner, where he came from, where he worked before, why he started the winery, how he met Frank Sinatra's family. I mean, it was just really cool information. Then as you go further, every month, and I actually went online and found some of their back newsletters so that I could read even more of them. They have different um, trivia and wine information. This one just happens to be kind of the history of wine in California that um, has pictures, is fully illustrated. Um, you know, I was then, actually looking for that part, the bottle shock. Cause oh. <laughs> have you ever seen that movie? I was looking, where is that? Where is that at? And yep, 1976, the yes. history, the timeline of California wine. That was really interesting. <laughs> Well, I love all of this information. I mean, and then they, they include fun stuff in here, like um, the game room. Before the winery, they were. And so it talks about, you know, different um, famous vineyards, winery owners, and what they did before. You know, who was a doctor? Who was a banker? Who was a tire company owner? Who was a Hollywood director? So they always have different types of um, kind of fun wine trivia and information in the newsletter, too. So it's full color. It's beautiful. They have all this information in it. And then at the back, they have, you know, what their deals are for the month, any kind of special deals that you can get, special shipping that they've got going on right now. It's just basically, it's the kind of thing that you sit down with and you spend like an hour reading it. Before you even touch the wine, you're going through this newsletter and gobbling it all up. Or of course you're reading it as you're consuming the wine. So <laughs> I'm such a wine geek that I'm all like, <laughs> I love it. All right. Yeah, this is great. In fact, um, I have a, a bit of a confession. As you know, we are supposed to have two bottles here. In fact, I have uh, one of them here. It's the uh, 2010 Chardonnay. But in my other hand, should be the other bottle. But I couldn't wait. It was the red red blend. is <laughs> Sangiovese and uh, Cabernet, I believe, 60% and 40%. Mm-hmm. It was it was calling my name, and I had to. The Tilly, didn't it, you? You drank the Tilly. Drank the Tilly. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was excellent. I highly recommend you consume it as well. That's I great. want to drink the chili. I think it's very cool. I looked at it, and it, my first thought was, am I supposed to know what a chili is? And I'm thinking, like, Cabernet, Shiraz, Pinot Noir, chili. No, I have no clue what that means. It turns out that he named it after his grandmother. Yeah. How sweet is that? Like, he named it chili after his grandmother. So it's a blend. Um but, you know, to read that on the back, it has all kinds of information about it. And this one, they actually, um, his grandmother, I think she had Alzheimer's. And so they donate a portion of the sale of all their chili wine to Alzheimer's research. So um, just knowing things like that, I, I don't know. It, to me, it makes the wine even better because it's not just quickly opening up a bottle of wine um, and downing it because it's been a long day or just grabbing something to eat with dinner. It's actually, you know, learning about these companies and the people that are behind them. And now I want to go to this winery and I can pretty much guarantee that I will. Um, my husband has family out in Santa Barbara. So we do go out there fairly, fairly regularly and I would probably go to this winery when we go out there now, because just reading about it and, um, your recommendation of how good the wine is, (laughs) I know that it's the kind of place that I want to visit. And I think that's the case with this California wine club that, like, Kevin's aunt, my husband's aunt is a wine drinker. She loves wine, but I would never order a wine club for her because I know she's very um, shop local, patronized the California businesses and things like that. So even though she loves wine, I would never order her a wine club. Without a doubt, after having a shipment of this, she will be getting a wine club one of the next holidays from us. She will be getting this California um, wine club premiere series because I think she'll really appreciate that not only is California wine club, not only are these business owners in California, but these are wineries that she would want to learn about and after tasting the wine, decide if she wants to go visit or not. Yeah, and it's a good deal because it's 40 bucks roughly per, per shipment, right? And then the wine itself, you can see the pricing here. That's, so the uh, the red selection the for this month, the, the Tilly, which was, a, again, it was a blend. It was delicious, $25. 
is the uh, tasting room retail price. And uh, if you want, if you can find it in a the restaurant, they say thirty-one to thirty-seven dollars. And the Chardonnay selection, the white selection for this month, uh, the tasting room tasting room retail is eighteen dollars. So you're looking at just about forty-five, forty-three dollars for the wine. So it's you know it's right and there in terms of what you expect. They're not guessing. I do the research on these wine clubs, and when I get a bottle. Um, from a wine club and it tells me, you know, retails for $28 and I go out there, there are times that I have found that they actually retail for half that. There have been times where the only place that sells that particular bottle because they've relabeled it is that particular wine club. You can only right. buy it from them. So there's no way to compare to see if you're really getting a good deal on these wines, if you're really getting what you pay for. And I did go and I checked these out on their winery um, website and it was exactly um, what the Borings told us it was. Well, awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much uh, for all this information. I'm glad we had a chance to chat and talk about this and soon maybe we'll drink the Chardonnay together or something. <laughs> I'll drink the Chardonnay. Maybe I'll trade you. I'll send you my Tilly if you send me send me your Chardonnay. Yeah, you send me yours first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Trisha. This is great. So um, for more of our reviews and ratings, please go to wineclubreviewsandratings.com. And we where we'll have coupons and always have up-to-date information as well as um, any special promotions that uh, California Wine Club has. And they do. They run them frequently. So make sure you come check out our site to see what deals you can get. All right, great. Thanks so much, Trisha. See you. Thank you.